So we got a big power lines. Rodano Pierce sign there. It's gonna go under the cars go under and it's really a dick. <laughs> you get whiplashes, you're turning right and you gotta look back into the traffic to make sure you don't pull out and get hit, you know. He's, the most brilliant design but it looked good on the paperwork you know yeah let's ride the back you know? <laughs> the old sign was better that this isn't even it this is this is apparently this one's old this is all yellowed out the one that they put up <laughs> it's not even the real one the one that they replaced was pretty sturdy, you know, but a few people... <laughs> Anyways, look at the power plants here. This is a parallel unit of different Earth. This is Earth number seven, I think. There's one of you. Esplanade, 1408 Esplanade, Darren Lindgren. Two, two versions of him, four months ago, one version of him. He looked like a game show host. <laughs> Not like the Darren Lindgren I, get, I know. But today, yesterday, I talked to the other version, a skinnier, taller version of him. And he's like, oh yeah, hey Jeff. <laughs> I said, James, my friend James Egan, James Egan, so no, no, he moved out a few years ago. Uh, where did he move to Mexico? What did he move to Mexico for? He goes surfing. I'm like, James doesn't surf. <laughs> Factory, you know, we got the whale wall put up to. <laughs> Thanks very much. Just saying, a lot of it, like the whale wall over here. Everything, a lot of it's really the same, you know. A lot of nice looking chicks on this particular planet. This one's too young, obviously, but if I was 18, I'd, you know, be having a field day. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Oh shit, light screen. There's Ed Rosnick's place. This, this place is still going with the spiral staircase. <laughs> oh shit, let's see, no whale wall here. It's just very industrial wall. Trees everywhere here now, they're huge. They're the skinny type. It's the same, the bay cloud, everything's like the same. You'll see the same people, you'll see yourself. You can't see yourself. See, when I come here, I take videos of myself, they don't look like me. <laughs> it's like I combine with the parallel universe me. Something like that, I don't understand it. I mean, I'm an expert at it, but I'm still learning, let's face it, the first. Time traveler Jeff Creeden. Jess Piccoli on Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Sean Penn played me. So I launched the careers of people like Sean Penn, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker is a great actor too. That guy's a serious actor. Sean Penn, dude, he's he's got to take other. He's not going to play a, a stoner, <laughs> dude. His career is done, you know. He'd been like that stoner Bob dude, you know. Hey, dude, where's my car? Some knockoff guy trying to copy me or whatever. Right? <laughs> that guy did a couple of B movies, made us too. Got laid a few times. That was pretty much it. He's washed up. No one even knows what he looks like today. But Sean Penn did the wise thing. Did serious acting after playing Jeff Creed. You know, it's fun to be like that when you're a kid, but it's not a kid anymore. So he did, Sean Finn said, no, he, he set aside that, you get stereotyped, you know, he would have did maybe a Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Stoned at the Beach, part two, you know, or whatever. Maybe a cameo in a Cheech and Chong movie, right? And that would have been the end of his career, but he was wise and got rid of that whole surfer stoner image, right? Just 
type in Jeff Creed. I'm sure it's there. Let's, let's, let's play the games with me. Captain Kids is there. Same deal, you know. <laughs> Celebrity status, you know, I don't really brag about, you know, that Sean Penn played me and all that. That's true. I had Cameron Crowe pose as a student. The real story is he, if you watch the movie Almost Famous, that's where he missed school in high school. He went on tour with like the Van Dad Company. When he, he went to Santa Monica High, Cameron Crowe, and he missed some class because he went on tour with Dad Company. He had to make up credits. He's from Santa Monica. He had an aunt that lived in Redondo, so he came to Redondo for summer school. And uh, made it made the credits, and he said, "Wow, the McDonald's got a whole different groove than like, you know, Santa Monica and so forth." So he said, "I'm gonna, I want to come back here and write a movie, or book, or whatever." That's what he did. He came back a few years later when he's 20, 21. Pulse was a student. Only two of the people in the faculty knew that he was supposed to uh, be a student. Mr. Han, his real name wasn't Han, it was Mr. Porter. He was Mr. Porter. The teacher. That's how they do movies, they change things up a bit. And um, I think R. Wine was one of the guys that knew. R. was doing well. So, they basically, uh, only two people knew he wasn't a student. So he posed as a student, I had him in my class the whole year. So a lot of those scenes are real scenes like the I don't know scene or the SAT test and so on and so forth. Everything you see in the school is pretty real. Things outside of the school were a little kind of, you know, made up, but kind of true from things you heard. Jimmy Buffett wrote a song about me, so did Joe Walsh. Jimmy Buffett wrote the Jess Coley, it's called the I Don't Know song, I Don't Know Jess Coley song, and uh, so did uh, I'm Joe Walsh of the Eagles, wrote a song, looked at my school records, I, I okayed it, my mom okayed it and all that, and um, wrote, uh, wrote the uh, song for the soundtrack, Fast Times Ridge went high, it's called The Waffle Stomp, because in the fourth grade I used to wear waffle stompers. And, um, yeah, that was a big thing back then, they were in style. By the fifth grade we were wearing wallabies, you know, this like surfer type of thing we did, you know. Here I'm at Catalina and Esplanade. And we got a... Uh, I've had a rough life, but I've hung in there, you know, it's all good. So I took a video like four months ago, I was taking pictures of this place when I was down here. It was a different era, I was on a different earth. It was a lot different, um, and there's a fountain thing there, a bit different than that is now. That's concentrating on that. You might have saw that video I did, and this was all different then. It's a different parallel uh, universe. It's, I think I was Earth five. Or nine, so. PV you see is much bigger in this uh, parallel universe. It's a uh, giant. Uh, the one I was at yesterday is different than today. I was at a different. Earth yesterday, and <laughs> I'm not joking. This is true, and um, this is, the PV was even bigger. It goes really big. I mean, it gets really tall. As it uh, last week, I drove through a made the wrong turn into uh, Merrill West High School. All the parents were dropping the kids off. I forgot all about that. I haven't heard of that in years, but it's still a high school there. And they also have Vista Del Mar is in PV. I didn't even know that. And there's also Rolling Hills. From my knowing of uh, the South Bay, there isn't really a rolling hills. There's no city. There's actual city you, get, you can move into and get your mail mailed to and all that called rolling hills. Here. So look for the PV before you get down to Crenshaw and all that, I think, something like that. It's a whole city, rolling hills, yeah. It's, there's a college up there in PV, too. I forget what the, uh, I forget the name, but I, I have it on video. It's, uh, I forget. The, I've heard of it before, but I didn't know it was in PV. I saw pictures some years back of my son posting videos of him skateboarding at the pier. 
today I, I saw the section of the pier there with all those tables down there. I thought, I don't remember that part of the pier. I saw him posting the videos, and that's where I'm at today. So I want to know where my son is, because I haven't seen my son in 10 years. My son JC is 20 years old. So I know he's at this parallel universe, because I saw those tables down there by the boardwalk of the pier. I videotaped them. You'd see them on my video I put up. And um, these are the Delphi. It looks much different where Vince Neil lived. Uh, Gardena and um, Lisa and he, he messed her up, he messed her legs up and stuff. She got some money or whatever from this. It's the party of Vince up here, Motley Crew, you know. So PV's much bigger. And my roommate from Gurmroth Motors, he worked at Gurmroth Motors, sold him that Pantera and then uh, He'd come, he'd come home, Jeff, you like Molly Crew because he wasn't really into him. Vince Neil keeps is coming in here with the eyeliner and stuff on. He's saying he's pretty cool. He wants to buy this Pantera. He eventually bought it. And um, then he uh, she, he crashed it. Vince crashed it into my ex-girlfriend, uh, Lisa Hogan. That was that. And she got hurt there. It's, yeah. I slid down the best spot here. Here's Tiffy Terrace down here. The boardwalk, I've seen like four different, or not the boardwalk, the uh, Holiday Riviera, I've seen four different versions of it. This seems to look pretty much the same. Look. And um, here's the uh, Holiday Riviera. It was blue before. And um, So it was blue, the same color as Kathy Kukulko's front unit and never been into it when they, since they painted blue. When I was with her there, it looked like we were driving in the driveway, the next driveway, we looked in the window and the, the wall of the front unit in the, uh, was painted dark blue, like a dark blue. And um, I was like, wow, you know, um, that's, I, I told her, that's not, the tenant's not allowed to do that. This is gonna be hard to paint over. So she contacted them in front of me, I guess, was saying, oh, you can't do that, but I heard some rumors about my, you know, my daughter there and stuff. I hope that's not true. You know, that's a shame, and I, have, I need to talk to my daughter, I need to talk to my kids, you know. So I, wanted, I rented a motel room once, and it had the same Backdrop, same color as that, that apartment building, um, the Holiday Riviera back here. Same color. But, um, but it's not that color now, it's a dark navy blue. I took pictures of it. That's about four months ago when I was down here in a different uh, <laughs> Look at PV, it's huge. It's not the PV I know, you know. And this is the condos they built next door. I think they're more like apartment buildings now. There's a bunch of them in back. It's much thicker and wider than what I remember that they built here. This is a apartment complex and house that was here. They tore down the condos. So, you know, I'm able to time travel because I'm 